Well, it's quite a scene. It's quite a noise. Welcome to Italy. Welcome to Naples. And welcome to this vast arena that is the Stadio San Paolo. And we have two tiers all the way around. 60,000 people to our left. People are holding up glittery silver banners and blue banners, the colours of Napoli. There is a red flare blazing somewhere in an exit and smoke pouring up from it. On the far side of the ground, people are letting off sparklers over there and fireworks that are, that are shooting up into the sky. There is smoke all over the place. And in the end to our right here, everyone has blue and white Czech flags and they're waving them around. I had a look, you know, there, there, are, there are homemade banners hanging from just about every possible vantage point. And I noticed one that was written in English. There was a message, I think, for the, the Premier League, and it said, this is real football. It is something else, Danny Mills. Oh, it's absolutely magnificent. This is what Champions League, you know, European nights are all about. You know, there's a, a now a haze. You can hear the noise. There's flares everywhere. And this is what makes it special. These are the sort of moments and the big games as a player you dream about as a kid. Manchester City now have a fantastic opportunity. They've got to hold their nerve in the first 10, 15 minutes of this game, not get overawed by the occasion. And of course, they have a, the opportunity to go on and play more games like this later in the competition. Well, you, you need to be confident coming to a place like this. But Manchester City are confident, having won their last nine games in all competitions. The team news is that Aguero and Nasri drop to the bench. Uh, Mancini, as is his wont, switches his full-backs. Kolarov and Zabaleta are in the team tonight. Richards is not even on the bench. There was a suggestion Fabio Capello was going to come here this evening to see how Richards coped. Well, uh, he'll still have Hart and Milner to watch if he is coming, the England coach. Uh, Silva and Dzeko are the two to come in for Aguero and Nasri. Uh, Napoli just make one change from their team at the weekend. The now fully fit Uruguayan Gargano comes into midfield for Jamaili. So, as the uh, captains down there are just conducting the toss, the Napoli captain, very familiar name, Cannavaro, Paolo Cannavaro, Fabio's younger brother, shaking hands with Vincent Company and exchanging the pennants. Napoli in the Manchester City kit. The blue shirts, white shorts and blue socks. City in the red and black stripes tonight with the yellow numbers on the back, black shorts and red and black socks. Uh, Napoli's team is... De Sanctis, Campagnaro, Cannavaro and Aronica. Then a line of four, Maggio, Gargano, Inla and Dosena with the three tenors as they call them. Hamsik, the Slovak captain from the World Cup, Lavezzi and then Cavani who scored the opening goal when the sides met earlier in the group at Eastlands. And the City side tonight, Hart, Zabaleta, Company, Lescott and Kolarov, Milner, Yaya Toure and De Jong with Silva Jekyll and Balotelli so he has gone with Balotelli tonight Danny has he picked the right team this time we did criticise him for his team selection in Munich well, I'm, a, well, I'm very surprised uh, that Mika Richards is not playing obviously he was fantastic at the weekend you know I think he's been outstanding this season not injured at all um, obviously we saw him and Torre uh, doing a bit of a running session uh, on the pitch before the game so the fact that he's not even on the bench I, I do find slightly bizarre uh, but, you know, Kolarov has come in, European style Zabletta will not attack as much as, as Mika Richards. I think Milner's very, very important in there. Uh, and of course, you've got the likes of Silva coming back in after a bit of a rest at the weekend. And Balotelli, well, you know, it's made for Balotelli. Yet again, I think we say again, he's either going to score a hat-trick or get sent off in the first 20 minutes, you know. And, and I'm not quite sure which it will be. This is the Champions League on BBC Five Live in Naples. And it is the home side who get the game underway. These are the two sides that finished third in Italy and England last season, but City, the Premier League leaders. And having to defend here as the ball is carried forward by Lavezzi, but Manchester City do deal with it. And they're defending the goal to our left in the first half. And here's Silva. Um, Manchester City in possession at the moment. That's what the whistles are all about. And it is uh, 
Yaya Toure, he just plays the ball towards the left-hand side and Kolarov gets a touch. Now it's Balotelli and his infield pass is cleared away downfield into the city half. Should tell you as well, if you've got friends and family, perhaps, who have come here with Manchester City, we are told that all of the Manchester City supporters, eight or nine hundred of them, have safely been... Uh, got into the ground here and they're just in a section to our right they've actually got black netting see-through netting either side of them just to make sure that that nothing that shouldn't get in there gets in there well here's Milner down the right hand side for Manchester City into the full back position angles the ball to Zabaleta Zabaleta's cross into the area it's flicked by Jekyll and it well he might have left that for Balotelli and as a result Napoli have got it back decent break forward from City I think Jekyll was caught in two minds it looked like he was going to try the overhead kick then realised that Balotelli was behind him and, and in the end hesitated and, and really did neither City have, have got to use all their experience the likes of Torre you know the people like Jekyll Silva that you know used to playing in European football what they've got to do they've got to quieten the crowd down you know this crowd is going to be vicious and ferocious all night long if you can quieten them down in the first 10-15 minutes that's half the battle won some job to quieten them down firecracker going off just about jumped out of my skin you didn't flinch very impressed it's nil nil very early stages nil nil at Old Trafford as well uh, Napoli defender here and Aronica ball ended up at, the, at his feet Aronica and he uh, was untroubled at the time so he's cleared it downfield and De Jong now gives it back to to company De Jong again the Dutchman gives it to the left-hand side. Real Madrid have taken the lead against Dinamo Zagreb. Karim Benzema with the goal. Uh, Real Madrid uh, on the way through. They're the only team who've won all of their games so far in the group stage. And Bayern Munich have gone 1-0 up on Villarreal in this group. Uh, Bayern Munich leading the uh, section with 10 points. Then Manchester City with 7. Napoli with 5. And Villarreal yet to have a point to their name just to remind you as well that Manchester City if they win this game this evening here in Naples they will be sure of qualifying from the group but uh, with Bayern Munich at home in the final match it's easier said than done uh, I feel Danny even with the record and the and the the way that City have got the momentum behind them at the moment yeah definitely you know Bayern Munich even if they they have won uh, by then they will come to, you know, they'll come to the Etihad Stadium, they'll put out a strong side. You know, they will want to show everybody that they are, they are one of the best teams in Europe. And it won't be an easy game no matter what. So it's a, a big opportunity. I think City just don't want to lose this evening. That's the most important thing away from home in Europe. Frank Ribery, who scored for Bayern Munich. Manchester United 1-0 down at home to Benfica. But City here with Dzeko on the right-hand side. Dzeko now towards the corner flag. Three Napoli players with him gets the crossover but it just dribbles through to De Santis Italian international goalkeeper he's back on the international scene experienced figure 34 years old clears it to the halfway line just gives possession back to the the red and black of Manchester City here's Milner now skips inside Gurkan Inla the Swiss international captain now Yaya Toure forward from Lescott and Milner and back to Lescott again it's the first game that Julian Lescott has started away from home in the Champions League this season. He was an unused substitute in Munich and in Villarreal. Here's Yaya Toure now carrying the ball forward. Chance to shoot, which he does. And he's just about reached the seats. And that's a long way. It was uh, high and wide. Uh, carried the running track, but not quite bounced into the seats just missed the moat but it needed about another yard on it just to get, get over the little moat and onto the green effectively but yeah a little bit of I suppose, not desperation um, but just a, a long shot City have started well though I think the midfield is strong you know Yaya Torre De Jong Milner I think you almost have to include David Silva in there as well I think you know City's midfield is, is the key to all their play not only are they strong uh, physically uh, but you know they're, they're mentally strong and they keep the ball very very well Here's De Sena, the former Liverpool man. Remember the week when he scored against Real Madrid and Manchester United for Liverpool. His only goals for the club. Well, he's lost possession. And now here's Dzeko. Dzeko dancing one way in the other to evade the challenge. Gives it to Zabaleta on the right-hand side. Then infield, Yaya Toure. And he's going to go back into his own half. Patient stuff. Good, experienced Champions League stuff from Manchester City. 
There's Collar off now on the left. And Balotelli now turns. He'll have a goal. Right footed shot. Bounces wide of the post from just outside the D. Well, I'll tell you what, the keeper's left that. And that, from where we are, looked to be no more than a few inches away from the post. Obviously, the keeper had a good sight of it. Um, but again, that, you know, that's what Balotelli's good at. He received the ball, a tight turn on the edge of the box, rolled the defender using his strength and just went for that little bendy shot into the far corner. Obviously, the very, very confident goalkeeper uh, knew it was going wide from the outset. Uh, Real Madrid now 2-0 up on Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, so, Jose Mourinho uh, forced to be reckoned with in the Champions League again this season. And in the Spanish League, they're top of the table at the moment, ahead of Barcelona, 2-0 up. And um, first seven minutes here in Naples, I would say, have been very efficiently dealt with by Manchester City. And the smoke has almost magically cleared from all of those flares. I think the blustery conditions this evening have probably helped that to be the case. It's um, Lavezzi. Lavezzi now in a deep line position, angles the ball to the edge of the area, straight at Lescott, who's able, has the time to take it down. Oh, that's given away by Silva. This could be dangerous for City. Inla carrying it forward. Cavani then, challenge came in on him from Zabaleta, no free kick, says the Slovenian referee, Gamia Skamina, and he's still writhing around Cavani as Manchester City break away downfield with Kolarov. City still with it, Silva looking for it at close quarters, in field it comes to Yaya Toure, nice clever flick from Yaya Toure as the challenge came in on him, Yaya Toure's got it back but he's given it away, misplaced pass, Cavani's back on his feet, surprise, surprise, now Hamsik, he's bringing it forward, the slow back captain, to the right hand side, Lavezzi is there, approaching the penalty area in the full back position, Beats the challenge, pulls it across, Hamsik's header, straight at Hart, who's able to catch it just to the left of his left knee. It's like a slip catch by Joe Hart. Well, a very good piece of play from, from Napoli. First of all, David Silva gave the ball away 10 yards outside the box, and I think Zabletta, for me, was very, very fortunate. I think, you know, in the Premier League, any sort of tackle like that would have certainly been a free kick. It, he might have got a bit of the ball, but when you come through the back of somebody and take them out, generally you don't get away with it and then Yaya Torre of all people gave the ball away a fantastic break and Hamsik was well probably up in the penalty spot difficult to get real power in the header and Joe Hart I think thankful that it was maybe only just a, a yard low to his left and, and managed to gather it quite easily but warning signs for City if you give the ball away you know against quality teams you're certainly going to get punished nil nil Napoli nil Manchester City nil and from the Champions League and Naples, three quarters of the way down the, the left side of the boot of Italy, we'll go to the FA Cup and Stourbridge and Hamish Marshall. Stourbridge nil, Plymouth nil, but Plymouth are down to ten men. Marcus Bignett was sent off for retaliation after a Sean Evans challenge, so the non-league side will have a man advantage for the last hour of this game. Nil nil. Thanks, Hamish. It really was a neat little save by, by Joe Hart from the handshake header. And he has now Kolarov, pulls the ball across the Napoli penalty area, it's cleared away. Very nearly found Dzeko next to the penalty spot. But one of the defenders, one of the three central defenders that Napoli play with, it was uh, Aronica, the left-sided man, was able to backtrack and just get a heel to it. Uh, FC Basler now winning 1-0 away against the Romanians, Galat in Manchester United's group. And Real Madrid are already 3-0 up on Dinamo Zagreb. Balotelli challenged, gets up. Then runs into the defender, wanted a free kick. Quite rightly, the referee didn't give it. And now Napoli move away on the counter-attack. Ball to the left-hand side, to Lavezzi. Flicks it forward to the edge of the area. Cavani back to Lavezzi, who shot! He's drilled three yards wide. I'll tell you what, that was a fantastic piece of play. Little intricate one-two on the edge of the box. The little, I suppose, back-heel flick. And, well, he was, he was sliding in. If that had been on target, I don't think Joe Hart would have got there. It was a magnificent strike. He was off balance. I think Joe was very, very fortunate. That's gone maybe only two or three feet wide of the post. But again, warning signs for City. If they don't get tight and they give the ball away, Napoli is certainly going to hit them on the counter-attack. No, the, the, there would have been no catching that like Andrew Strauss. He absolutely... He struck it as clean as can be, Lovetsi. And we can already see, can't we, even in the early stages... The, the link up between <laughs> I'm of a nervous disposition Danny that explains it uh, the, the link up between Lavezzi Cavani and Hansik uh, and Silva's been fouled 
near the dugout and um, Roberto Mancini just appears from uh, behind the the blue awning that covers the dugout and the referee is just going to speak to Desena it was Desena with the challenge on Silva and down goes Mancini again with his hands in, in his pockets and disappears almost underground and out of our sight Napoli nil, Manchester City nil. See what City do with this free kick and then we'll head back to Old Trafford where Manchester United are behind to Benfica. It's taken short by Yaya Toure who goes back into his own half so let's bring in Conor McNamara again. Well, Balotelli's getting frustrated here. Uh, I think the referee got it right again. He was challenged, he lost the ball. A couple of gestures towards the referee from Balotelli that he didn't get the free kick and now he's sauntering back into his own half Balotelli and feeling his right thigh. Ball is played by Lavetti. <laughs> straight out of play didn't strike that as well as he struck the shot uh, but he's applauded for it anyway strangely well, I think it, the idea was right to try and switch the play Balotelli I think he stood on the ball that last one you know, it, he's had a couple of rough challenges uh, the Napoli players certainly realised that he maybe does have a little bit of a weakness and it looks like they're going to try and get stuck into him try and wind him up and try and get him to react well they'll, they'll know all about him uh, a number of them are uh, teammates in the Italian national squad and uh, I, I get the feeling now with Balotelli that wherever we go, our taxi driver spoke about him, didn't he, earlier this evening, about you know, the, the little gag that Mark Pugac made about the fireworks, our taxi driver made about Balotelli, so everyone knows what Balotelli is like. But Mancini's gone with him tonight, Roberto Mancini, who was in the Italian squad that lost in the semi-finals of the World Cup in this stadium. Dzeko plays it for to Kolarov, who slides into the area, does well, pulls it back. Goal, three kicks given against him inside the area. I thought Balotelli there was going to have an open goal for a moment. But the free kick's been taken quickly, and Kolarov is out of possession. And Napoli bringing it forward. It's nil nil if you've just joined us on five live. And here's Lavezzi, who loves to drop deep and then run at defences, which is what he's doing now, and gives it to the right-hand side. Hamsik is there. Hamsik's cross into the middle. Gurken in there. It was over his head. But it still reaches to Sena, who plays it nicely and it takes a flick right across the face of Joe Hart's goal and wide of the far post. Well, already this is four or five times that City have been caught out on the break. And I think the difference is, they're used to playing in the Premier League, they're used to having so much possession, attacking for long periods. When teams get a, a goal kick or a free kick, they take their time, they regroup. Napoli are on the front foot of every opportunity, they're getting the ball quickly. Giovanni Hamzik are causing all sorts of problems in the City defence. It's actually being given as a corner. Hamzik takes it, headed away at the near post by Lescott. Milner then, a little heavy touch really, has given it back to the blue shirts of Napoli as they play from right to left. Still Napoli, high ball swung out towards Lavezzi who takes it down on his chest and then drives across the edge of the penalty area and shoots straight into company's left leg. And that deflection takes it all the way to Milner who now has space to make up ground down the left hand side City coming forward on the counter attack ball across has a lot of Balotelli couldn't control it and Napoli cleared at the halfway line still nil nil Danny Mills I think that ball was meant for uh, was meant for Dzeko on this near side Balotelli really was stretching was always going to struggle to bring it under control City have, have just got to calm down a little bit keep the ball a, a little bit better slow the tempo of the game down and, uh, when they change when Dzeko on it right foot right, John. shoots but gets right underneath it and sends it high over the bar when City lose possession when the ball changes hands they've really got to be at it because the moment that happens Napoli really want to counter-attack and they counter-attack with pace and get that ball as quickly as they possibly can you know and, and start attacking the City back four so in Manchester United's group group C Basler now 2-0 up away to the Romanians Galat and um, that would take Basel to 8 points and if Manchester United were to lose it home to Benfica, I know it's early in the game, but they are behind at Old Trafford, then Basel and Manchester United would be level on eight points. And United's final game is in Switzerland against Basel. Nil-nil here. Manchester City, if they win, they'll be guaranteed to go through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. And their debut in this form of the European Cup stroke Champions League. Here is uh, Ironica the central defender Lavezzi now takes it up he's really caught the eye in the early stages here's Inla Inla will shoot from distance and Joe Hart has to watch it very carefully and throw up a left arm to push it over the top of the bar good save again but City just backing off Inla he, sort of, he played it out of his feet 
and he almost thought, actually, this is too far to shoot. He had another little touch, City still didn't close him down. They thought, you know what, why not? And again, fortunate for Joe Hart, that was straight at him. City have got to be brighter when they haven't got the ball. It's another corner then for Napoli, this time from the left-hand side. Here it's played into Cavani, it takes a flick and it's found its way to the net! Cavani! The deftest of headers! And somehow it's found a way past Joe Hart and his near post and ricocheted into the back of the Manchester City net. And Naples goes absolutely crazy! They're 1-0 up against Manchester City. Well, an unbelievable goal. That's going to have to go down as a Joe Hart error. You know, we, we don't have the benefit here of a replay, unfortunately. But that really is a, a disastrous mistake. I'm not sure who was on the near post. It was a corner. It was actually a really poor corner. But City, I think their concentration in this early part of the game hasn't been at it. I said they'd have to be careful and not be intimidated by this atmosphere. I think one or two players have frozen. They're not doing their jobs and suddenly now they are right up against it. Just to repeat it, Danny, you know, in terms of the way that that goal was scored, it's played into the near post and Cavani made a run you know, towards the near post and beyond it to like the edge of the six yard box, just got a tiny touch and it hit Joe Hart who was standing next to the post and ricocheted into the back of the net, bounced down up, I think it might have hit the crossbar and bounced into the back of the net. Joe Hart culpable, I think you have to say. Yeah, definitely. Is it going to go down as a bad Joe Hart error? You know, you, you, he's got to do better than that. But again, from the corner, it was a poor corner. What was it, Cavani? On the back of the head, almost. You know, as, he's, as if he's stupid. But again, City caught in possession, getting caught on the counter-attack time after time. And now here they come again. Napoli, Cavani, the goal scorer, shoots from an angle into the side netting. Somebody very close to us got very excited about that. Thought they'd scored, still, uh, but still 1-0 to Napoli. I've said all season, City for me have defensive frailties. And I think they have one or two problems. It does not help when you keep chopping and changing your defensive partnerships, you know, week in, week out. Mika Richards uh, and Clichy played at the weekend. You've changed that now. So suddenly Company and Lescott have two new partners to get used to again. And I think City are getting hit on the counter-attack time after time already that must be seven or eight chances good chances that Napoli have created and in a Champions League match that is far too many you are going to get punished so just as in the first game in the group between these sides at Eastlands it's the Italians who've taken the lead here's Silva though Silva shoots from 22 23 yards but straight really at De Sanctis who just had to adjust slightly and move to his left and take the ball into his chest uh, in the FA Cup Aldershot have taken the lead against Maidenhead it's 1-0 to Aldershot uh, and also Gillingham 1-0 up on Bournemouth and in the Champions League Claudio Ranieri's Inter Inter Milan are winning 1-0 away against Trabzonspor they're, they're struggling away down the Italian League Inter after a, a bad start to the season but they're top of their Champions League group and winning in Turkey so Manchester City have got a test on their hands here, Danny Mills, just as they did in, in Munich when we were there. It's uh, you know, Again, they've come away from home in Europe against a very decent team, and they're struggling a little. Here's Silverdor now, just dances away from the channel from De Sena and then swoops De Sena, uh, Silva, and the ball runs away from him. Not sure what happened there for Silva. And uh, Napoli run the ball towards the halfway line where Aronica just runs into Zabaleta and is now rolling around on the on the pitch Mancini comes forward as if to say I've seen this a million times before referee just get him up and, and let him get on with the game I think they might um, have learned it from Mancini himself <laughs> seen, seen that once or twice quite possibly but it was, it's, it's actually good play because he, he's come out he, he's got the ball off Silva he's running he's really got nowhere to go Zabaleta's coming across he's just towed it past him and literally just ran straight into him the ref has no option but to give a foul. Napoli can now, you know, get their breath back, take a little bit of time. But, you know, City, you know, last season were very, very defensive and, and played that style and were quite good at it. This season, I think they've been the complete opposite. And now that they've tried to revert back to play a more negative defensive game, I don't think they're anywhere near the team that they do in the Premier League. They don't play this way in the Premier League. They go out, they attack, they attack, they attack. 
but they score goals and put teams on the back foot. In Europe, they've really reverted to type of last season, played in a defensive style, and, and so far, it really hasn't worked for them. Uh, Real Madrid now 4-0 up on Dinamo Zagreb. Mesut Ozil with the, the latest goal. Um, Aronica is finally back on his feet. I thought he was never going to, but he is. Play back underway, and Napoli leading through that, that goal. The Cavani header in the 18th minute of this game, but Joe Hart badly at fault. Go to Old Trafford in a moment, but Yaya Toure picks out Kolarov again on the left, but Kolarov's ball across for certainly not the first time during the course of the game. Hits the first defender, Maggio, and bounces out of play for a throw-in to Manchester City. We will go to uh, Old Trafford shortly, but City have got this throw-in, level with the edge of the area. Balotelli runs away from him, and Napoli clear. So, so here is Connor, and it's Stourbridge nil, Plymouth nil in the FA Cup at half-time. So halfway through the first half, here in Naples on five live, and here's Ian Dennis. Thank you, John. This is Zabaleta at right-hand side. Manchester City in their red and black striped shirts playing from left to right in this cavernous stadium against Napoli in their sky blue shirts and it's the Italians who lead by a goal to nil. And here's a thought for you. England's top two in the Europa League come the new year. Certainly with the results as they stand, there is work to do for both Manchester United and Manchester City. United are trailing at home to Benfica if it stays like this. Benfica will go through as group winners from Group C. Manchester City will lose the initiative in Group A. Trabzonspor have equalised at home to Inter Milan. That is a, a significant scoreline in that particular group when you consider that Lille beat CSK Moscow earlier today in Russia by two goals to nil. And Trabzonspor if they get a point from that would move into second place the Turkish side here it's imperative that Manchester City avoid defeat against the Napoli side who have caused them some problems and that Joe Hart error and Danny you talked about that defensive unit and it's constantly changed for the third successive time on their travels in the Champions League it is once more a different back unit that Roberto Mancini has employed Definitely, and I think you find that you know also you know Chelsea have done that this season. They've had issues. Manchester United have constantly changed their back four. Here they come again. Ball in from the right hand side, looking for Cavani. It was a diagonal ball that was always dropping away from the Uruguay and the long-haired striker, and gratefully received by Joe Hart as Milner is caught in possession. Levetti holds off the challenge of Silva. The referee says there was no foul. Whether there was a little nudge in the back there from Silva on Levetsi, who likes to play off Cavani along with Hamsik. Here is Silva, sidesteps one challenge, wriggles away from another. Levetsi was though back and the blue shirts will come forward for Napoli. Cavani then slips as company will bring the ball away out of the Manchester City penalty area. And then James Milner with a searching ball looking towards uh, Balotelli, but it aimed towards the goalkeeper, De Santis. And Napoli are in possession, building from the back. Danny Mills. Well, I tell you what it is at the moment. Napoli are certainly, for me, playing like almost like a, an old-style English Premier League team. They're really closing people down. They're putting an awful lot of people under pressure. You know, they're not giving Man City any sort of room on the ball, and they're almost muscling them out of it at times. There's two or three people, really high tempo around the ball, nudges, tackles. You know, and City don't like it at the moment. Here is Silva, as Bayern Munich have increased their lead against Villarreal. They now lead 2-0, Milner's cross. There's Dzeko, hit his head. Not too sure he knew that he was going to come to him, and it seemed, didn't seem to react. The Bosnian hit his head and went away from goal. In fact, took a deflection. It's gone behind for a corner that Manchester City will want to take quickly. Milner has come across to take it short. He was urging him to take it quicker than he did. It is taken short. Milner almost stumbles, keeps the ball in play as another firecracker goes off. And eventually it'll be cleared by Cavani. And there was a challenge there on Levetsi. The referee hasn't spotted. De Jong almost standing still right at the centre circle. Kolarov over on that far side. This is Yaya Toure to Milner. Just forward of the centre circle as Manchester City play from left to right five live sport live in Naples and believe me there is no substitute for being here this evening with this with this noise and everything that has gone on around the game in the build up to this in this football mad city as company the Manchester City captain you can hear what the Napoli supporters 
think about sitting possession for yourselves with a whistling deafening inside the Stadio San Paolo Balotelli no real urgency though to City's possession it's quite pedestrian really and uh, Napoli with the goal advantage that they have the Italians are quite happy just to drop back and let City have it because they're not really going anywhere they switched it from left to right this is Zabaleta pushes the ball to Dzeko who makes that run Zabaleta's come forward now bit more movement there for City opens up for Silva outside the D Silva's shot goes wide goal kick well, a little bit better from Silva but that's really for me letting it Napoli off the hook Napoli are obviously they're, they are playing at such a high tempo you know when City get the ball they're chasing people down they're harrying them they're putting under all sorts of pressure getting right up against them giving them no time they just took their foot off the gas a little bit to take a little bit of a breather and rather than City you know zip the ball around pass it at speed they just strolled around and passed it quite leisurely you know and that's given Napoli players you know two or three minutes quite easy to, to catch their breath now and get back into the rhythm well since returning to Europe in 2008 after a 13 year absence they're unbeaten in 10 matches at home they do have this formidable record Eintracht Frankfurt back in the mid 90s the last side to actually beat Napoli in this antiquated stadium that I don't think has had a lick of paint since Italia 90 for which it was renovated for Manchester City under pressure once again up towards Balotelli just drops back inside his own half but he was quickly closed down as he tried to play the ball forward here is Milner now lays it off towards Kolarov on that far side the left remember Manchester United are trailing at home to Benfica at Old Trafford and Manchester City still that Cavani goal separates the two sides here in Naples much work to do then for the two Manchester clubs as we go back to Old Trafford and Conor McNamara well, United's noisy neighbours need to silence this crowd here with an equaliser of their own. So better news from Old Trafford, but here in Naples, City still trail by a goal to nil. Company, 10 yards inside his own half. Silver drops short into that City half to collect the ball back towards Company. Yaya Torre once again, but Napoli are working so hard. They're pressing, they're closing down City, and they're, they're struggling to find the spaces as they eventually manoeuvre the ball forward to Yaya Torre it just opens up, there's a space on that far side Balotelli, Kolarov was forward on the overlap Balotelli then will come forward and in the end it was a comfortable save for the goalkeeper De Santos as the ball just sailed into his midriff well it was a shot from full 30 yards out tried a little curler was never going to have enough power to beat the keeper from that range I think Balotelli's getting a little bit frustrated I think Napoli have played him well so far they've got, they've got up against him they've, you know, they've given what a virgin on fouls every time you know and he's getting a little bit frustrated he hasn't really had the ball service into him hasn't been great you know and again Napoli you know they come out they look good on the ball they look very very fit very very organized whether they can keep up for 90 minutes I think that'll be their, their only issue Lugano Campagnaro forward Hamsik lets it come across his body onto his right foot to play the ball forward Maggio is on the overlap the uh, the right wing back it's his cross that goes out of the penalty area Cavani tried to retrieve it but the industrious James Milner will bring the ball away and he carries the ball towards the halfway line he has Silva in support Silva releases the ball before he had his legs taken away from him good footwork by Milner Milner good tenacity Milner still going for Manchester City on this right hand side and eventually his fell drops to his knees and wins a free kick well played James Milner so the FA Cup, the Championship and the Champions League, we've got it all for you here on Five Live Sport this evening as Manchester City look to take this free kick that Milner has won on the right-hand side. It's just a few yards in from the touchline as Manchester City play from left to right, but they're trailing by a goal to nil. This is Kolarov. It'll be an in-swinging free kick. Dzeko makes the run, but it was a poor delivery really from Kolarov. Napoli clear. Silva back out towards Zab Zabaleta on the halfway line. Flicks on by Lescott into the penalty area and the ball runs through towards the goalkeeper. Again, disappointing from Kolarov. That's probably four opportunities he's had now. Three from the left-hand side to put crosses in that have all hit the first man. And that free kick was a great opportunity for City to just take a little bit of pressure off themselves. You know, get the ball into the box, maybe test the keeper. But again, Kolarov, delivery was very, very poor. Here is De Jong, left of the centre circle. Yaya Torre, Balotelli is inside, this is Balotelli midway through the uh, Napoli half, exchanges passes with Silva and then Dzeko, left hand side of the penalty area, works the ball over, poor clearance by Ironica and there it is, Manchester City have got the equaliser and it's Balotelli!
It was a terrible clearance by Ronica. Silver's shot was parried and Balotelli was on hand, close range. And Manchester City have equalised. And they have silenced the crowd inside the Stadio San Paolo. It had to be Balotelli. It's 1-1. Well, out of absolutely nothing. It was awful defending. Veronica, as you said, ridiculous clearance, really. Had a wild swing at it. Went straight to David Silva, who put it in back into the box. The keeper made a decent save and really just powered it out to Balotelli, who was, what, four yards out? Simple tapping from that range. He certainly won't get an easier goal. Well, didn't well, didn't over-celebrate, um, but, yeah, a very, very simple goal. And, and really, City consider themselves fortunate to be back in it against the run of play, really. And when I said that he'd silenced the crowd, it is all relative. It's quieter. <laughs> Federer against Nadal is now underway on uh, Sports Extra. Five lines, Sports Extra. Blimey. That one made me jump. That was the loudest one yet. And in fact, I think even that made Danny Mills jump too. Oh, not quite, not quite. <laughs> no, get it a bit louder than that. Yeah, yeah, Torre. Coming forward for Manchester City. And it was important, as we were saying to Mark Pugac, ahead of the game, for City to get a score draw here rather than a goalless draw. Should it should these two sides finish tied on points and it comes down towards that criteria? A second goal for Manchester City and a 2-2 draw would be even better because then that would mean that they could afford to draw against Bayern Munich and it would make no difference whatsoever what happens with Napoli against Villarreal in their final group game. So that's what City are aiming for. To avoid defeat but goals with it too. One one then here in Naples, and the ball has gone behind for uh, for a goal kick. It might just give City a lift because, as you say, it was a goal out of nothing. Well, I think City have, have got to build on that now. They, they've got to take confidence from that, realise that they've got themselves back in the game. Probably didn't deserve it on the run of play, but that happens in football. You know, now they've got to build on that. You know, they need to get to half time. I think Mancini needs to have a have a little bit of a word with them. I, I think they've been too negative uh, for me. You know, in the Premier League, they go out, they attack teams, and they put teams on the back foot, and, and City's best form of defence is attack. Tonight, they've come here, they, they've sat back a little bit, you know, they've tried to pass the ball around at maybe a, a slower sort of pace than they normally would, and I don't think it suits their style of play. They've got such a fantastic midfield and forward line, they've got to use that to their strength. A cry of Mancini, Mancini from the Manchester City supporters, 900 of them safely inside this stadium credit to Manchester City for all of their safety advice that they issued for every travelling supporter to this part of the world because uh, they are notorious to the Napoli supporters there's been no repeat thankfully of the trouble that marred Liverpool's visit here last October where six Liverpool fans were stabbed or indeed Bayern Munich's visit here earlier in the season as Milner looking for Yaya Torre that pass though was intercepted by Cannavaro at the heart of the Napoli defence as Lovetsi rides the challenge and then runs into De Jong and the referee has given a free kick against De Jong, so that will be a free kick to Napoli midway through their own half. And in fact, yes, just talking about the trouble, there was uh, six Bayern Munich supporters who were stabbed as well when they visited uh, Naples earlier on in this Champions League campaign. This is Lavezzi. The City fans are in good voice behind the, the mesh and behind the line of stewards with their yellow luminous bibs and strangely their yellow helmets as well it looks like a line of Bob the Builders in front of the 900 supporters which is a rather ominous sign I would have to say despite all the meshing that uh, separates the city supporters from their Napoli counterparts that the, uh, the stewards are still having to wear helmets as a precaution but there you go Aronica who gave away or was it guilty for giving away that city equaliser this is Levetti cutting in towards the penalty area cross takes a deflection and it will enable De Jong to bring the ball away for Manchester City. Kolarov joins the attack. Yaya Torre there now. It's in fact it's Balotelli over on that far side. Balotelli, the City goal scorer. Runs forward midway through the Napoli half and in the end runs into trouble. It was Gargano who eventually stopped his run. And here come Napoli. And this is Inla joining the attack. He has Cavani. Cavani, 30 yards from goal. Onto his right foot. Cavani shot over the top. Goal kick. Still 1-1. I tell you what, City have to be careful. That's the second time Cavani's done that. You know, as he's slipping over, he still managed to get his shot away. He looks very, very sharp, very, very bright. But again, Balotelli giving the ball away, you know, just into the Napoli half. Apart from his goal, he's actually been very, very poor. 
you know, his touch has, has let him down. He's given the ball away. He's been muscled out of it far too often. But, you know, as it is always him, um, you know, he, he's managed to come up with a right place at the right time and get a goal. City, as a, they just need to get to half-time to calm themselves down a little bit and maybe just rejig their strategy a little bit. I think if they keep playing like this, it, for what them is, is a more negative manner, I think, you know, Napoli will certainly create more chances. Well, latest scores in the FA Cup, sponsored by Budweiser. Aldershot are now leading Maidenhead by two goals to nil. They could well be then heading off to Hillsborough in the second round. Gillingham are still leading Bournemouth by a goal to nil. Oxford City, we know, are leading Redbridge uh, 1-0. In the Championship, Birmingham still lead Burnley 1-0. No goals between Coventry and Cardiff. And in the Champions League, Basel are now leading Galat by three goals to nil in Romania. And it's still Manchester United 1, Benfica 1 in that Group C. Here... In uh, Group A, it's 1-1 in Naples. Bayern Munich are leading Villarreal by two goals to nil in Germany as Milner forward towards Balotelli on that far side of the left. Level with the penalty area. Cannavaro has gone out with him. Balotelli stands still and plays the ball a long way back. Midway through the Napoli half to Yaya Torre. De Jong saunters forward, looks towards Dzeko. The ball goes away from Dzeko. Wasn't the best of first touches, but Napoli have given the ball away. Yaya Torre looking to intercept, but they can't really profit Manchester City. But they may well win a corner, and indeed they do over on that far side so 1-1 and once again Napoli guilty of errors in the midfield City now have a great opportunity Kolarov off so far set pieces have been poor deliveries not been great this is a great opportunity for City you know, use the most of these set pieces get some pressure on the keeper you know try and create a chance Company's up from the back, Balotelli's is there, as is Yaya Torre, in comes the corner, and Company inside the six-yard box, couldn't keep it down, really got underneath the ball, headed it over, and onto the Athletics track, away to our right-hand side, it bounces, that damp Athletics track uh, in front of the supporters, away to our right-hand side, so still 1-1 here, as we go back to Old Trafford and Conor McNamara. Thank you, Conor. Tomorrow, of course, there'll be further Champions League action for you. The commentary comes from Germany by a Leverkusen against Chelsea who are top of Group E with reports of Arsenal against Borussia Dortmund from Group F on 5 Live as uh, Vincent Company across towards Zabaleta one of the four changes that Mancini made after the uh, victory against Newcastle at the weekend Michael Richards not even on the bench for Manchester City this evening as uh, Company finds Milner Milner head down has some space to run into on this near side the ride he's then held up by Inlet, and in fact they couldn't keep the ball in play, a little bit careless and it'll be a Napoli throw. But since the City equaliser, Napoli haven't really posed that same level of threat as they did in the first quarter of the game. No, I think that you know, shocked them a little bit. They were so on top, you know, they were really up for this game and I think it's just knocked the wind out of their sails a little bit. You know, and again City have come back into it. They've got a bit more confidence uh, from that goal now, it's starting to still for me a little bit too negative uh, but Napoli have, have certainly taken their foot off the gas and again maybe just lost the, a little bit of confidence um, in what they were doing Rare for Napoli to score at home when Tony Cruz scored early on when Bayern visited here it was the first time in just over nine and a half hours that Napoli actually conceded a goal at home in European competition so no mean feat for City to score in this arena as Zabaleta comes forward on the right-hand side, back towards Silva, midway through the Napoli half, it's a left-footed diagonal ball, and De Santis will claim that one, as Dzeko made a run towards the six-yard area, it's an early release by the Napoli goalkeeper, here is Hamsik, just short of the halfway line, short and in field is Inla, the Swiss international will spread play, and De Sena, formerly of Liverpool, comes forward, poor ball by De Sena, Liverpool supporters won't be surprised to hear that, as uh, Milner, and City now maybe looking to break, Balotelli has popped up on the right-hand side. Silver is out in space on the left, and Balotelli will look to find him with a crossfield ball. Oh, what control by Silver! killed it instantly. Collar off on the overlap, drills it in, strikes the knees of the goalkeeper. And it just wouldn't run towards Dzeko, who is inside the six-yard area. Balotelli has stayed down, but what control from Silver! outrageous. Yeah, absolutely fantastic touch, just killed it dead, then waited, waited for Collar off to go on the overlap delightfully weighted pass into him and again Kolarov maybe a touch greedy driving it at the near post really went for raw power to beat the keeper but he did well got down and saved it but Balotelli seems to have some sort of problem and well he, he looks to be struggling he's not allergic to the grass is he he, he was in Kiev wasn't he last year in the Europa League well that was one of the, the strangest 
incidents in football that we, we've ever seen, I think, um, with a, an itchy eye or whatever was going on. But I'm not sure what he did, but it, certainly there was no one around him. It you know, wasn't a challenge. Maybe whether he's just tweaked a, a hamstring um, or a thigh when, it, when he hit that crossfield ball, perhaps. The glow of a flare in the gangway away to our left as the Napoli supporters rather anxiously watch on. Manchester City with Balotelli, who appears to have recovered the way he delivered that cross from the right-hand side. to be collected by Silva, who's looking to... He's turning Maggio inside and out there. And he's won a corner with Silva. Maggio didn't know whether he was coming or going. Corner kick to Manchester City, who at the moment are the better of the two teams. And, and this is why, because they're suddenly starting to play a little bit more attacking football. You know, they've got Silva on the ball more. They've got Balotelli on the ball. You know, and suddenly they're starting to say, actually, you know, we believe in ourselves now. We've got back into the game. Let's go and attack Napoli. You know, and that's what they do best. City are far better when they come forward than when they sit back and, and try and defend. Just over 60 seconds then to go to half-time. Still one apiece here in Naples. Corner to Manchester City. Far side to left. It's swung over. And it was Dzeko who was stooping, going a little bit away from goal. And his head had dropped over to Santos. And it'll be a goal kick to, uh, to Napoli. He sense that Napoli need to regroup. Well, I think Mancini will be delighted um, after the start that they had. And, you know, Napoli created six or seven really good chances. You know, and Joe Hart's goal was under a little bit of threat for maybe the first half hour. City have clawed their way back into this game. And, and now they look a bit more comfortable. They look a bit stronger. I think half-time needs to come really for both teams. You know, it's certainly not the wind out of the sails uh, of the Napoli sails. You know, and City really... You know, I have to realise that you know 1-1 one, one away from home is a decent result but they've been better in the last 10 minutes because they've attacked that's what they're good at they've got to keep doing it Napoli as uh, we're about to see how much added on time we'll have here the fourth official is just adjusting that electronic board down in front of us we're a long way back with the athletics track separating this main stand from the uh, the pitch in Italy's third largest stadium and they have a throw Napoli on this left hand side we're now into the additional minutes so just 60 seconds to go here on five live one one and here is Maggio it's uh, forward and then the move breaks down on that right hand side a combination of Campagnaro and Maggio guilty and Manchester City will be awarded a throw just up from the corner flag so they're still deep inside their own half and eventually they will clear it's headed back and Lescott should marshal this ball out for uh, for a goal kick but there, there's that element of control now that Manchester City have in this game that you couldn't necessarily say in the first 20 minutes first 20 30 minutes I, I thought they were all over the place uh, whether the crowd got them a little bit maybe looked a little bit intimidated a little bit nervous they were given you know even the likes of Silva uh, and Yaya Torre were giving the ball away far too easily and they were getting hit constantly on the counter-attack you know Lovetsi um, Cavani uh, and Hamzik were causing all sorts of problems City have, have dragged themselves back in it from that tap-in from Balotelli, who's, who's still down, um, you know, clutching his, I think he's clutching his head um, or his thigh, I'm not quite sure. He's obviously got one or two problems, but City, far more comfortable, and I think Mancini will be delighted that they've managed to go in at 1-1. Yes, Balotelli is struggling, a physio has just got across to check on him. He's, uh, he's on his haunches, really, as Balotelli is now gingerly walking off the field, so it'll be interesting to see if Manchester City's goal scorer reappears for the start of the second half. In fact, Palatelli is seems to be in a little bit of distress there in the centre circle. So that's one to watch for at the start of the second half. But it's his equaliser that could well be priceless for it is an intriguing group in Group A with Bayern Munich winning against Villarreal by two goals to nil. 1-1 here in Naples. Napoli 1, Manchester City 1. Yes, welcome back to uh, South West Italy. Five live commentary team here in... Uh, in the lovely city of Naples, it is lovely, it's certainly a, a beautiful place to, to come to. Crazy, crazy but beautiful, you might call it. I can see um, Balotelli has emerged for the second half. And uh, he's the last one out of the tunnel. They come out of a hole in the ground behind the goal over the top of the advertising hoardings to our, to our left. So he, uh, even though he was receiving treatment at the end of the first half, Manchester City's goal scorer, Mario Balotelli, his ninth goal of the season is out there to begin the second half so Napoli's team unchanged to De Sanctis in goal a back three of Campagnaro, Cannavaro and Aronica and then a line of four Maggio, Gargano, Inla and Tosena and then Hamsik and Lavezzi behind Cavani and the Manchester City side tonight Hart in goal 
Zabaleta, Company, Lescott and Kolarov. Second half begins now. Manchester City in the red and black. Get it underway. The City midfield, Milner, Yaya Toure and De Jong with Silva, Balotelli and Dzeko. And it is 1-1 after Napoli took the lead, just as they did in Manchester in the earlier group game. But City equalising a good deal quicker than they did uh, in the home game through Balotelli. So City defending and Zabaleta takes the ball down in his full-back position as the cross came over from the left-hand side from Lavezzi. And now Dzeko heads it down to Silva. Thought Silva was quite quiet in the first half, but a lovely touch for the City goal after it was cleared straight to him really badly by Aronica, the uh, the defender, but hit straight at him at pace. Silva took it down, left side of the penalty area, got a snapshot in, goalkeeper made the save, and Balotelli... It's OK, we're all right here, don't worry. Balotelli won't score an easier goal than that this season, just had to tap it into the net. So, Danny Mills with us here, played in the Champions League for Leeds United, and Danny's watching Yaya Toure losing possession, and Napoli coming forward. Cavani couldn't find the pass back to Lavezzi on the edge of the area and that was dangerous for a moment and Yaya Toure now fouled and the free kick to City Danny well I think you know the, the second half has started very much like the first half you know Napoli have really come out strong you know they've tried to attack you know and they're getting right up against City players they've been quite aggressive you know trying to you know get stuck into them you know get as many tackles in get bodies around people you know nudge them push them as best they can you know and, and that's disrupting City uh, Gargano's ball from centre field the Uruguayan uh, is dealt with well actually by Lescott who turns and gives it back to Hart the noise has begun again in the second period there are banners and flags all around the uh, the bottom end of the top tier flags being waved in the end to our right and to our left and it is dry now after what's been a, a changeable day but uh, when it was at its clearest what a fantastic view didn't we of Vesuvius which is just to the south of the city. And I must say, it is much closer to the, the, the city than I ever expected it was. Milner loses possession in centre field. Played over the top by Hamsik, but it will skid on, I think, over the damp surface and away from Lavezzi, who collides with Zabaleta, who then bounces into the advertising hoardings and gets a little uh, pat on the back from his fellow Argentine international goal kick to, to Manchester City did make us wonder today when the last time was that Vesuvius erupted do you have any idea? I, I believe it might have been 1944 John. That right? yeah but I believe so yeah. I'm, I'm impressed at your knowledge Hart I, I believe it, it seriously erupted in uh, 79 AD I think when, when Pompeii was destroyed Pompeii also went up then that was there was it Hart takes the goal kick and Kolarov plays it back to Lescott who then side foots it forward to Balotelli who tries a clever flick and it's not so clever because it doesn't work and then Inler is able to tidy up for uh, for the blue shirts of Napoli it's fired forward by Cannavaro but headed away by company on the edge of his area and then forward from De Jong but that again is given away and now here's Cavani running from deep with the long black hair the Uruguayan now to Lavezzi who's up against Zabaleta and it's nice on the overlap played about Cavani with a shot and it's up to Lavez Napoli are back in front Manchester City will have to come from behind again and once again it is Edinson Cavani who scored his third goal against City in these two games and now Napoli 2, Manchester City 1 Well again it was a very well worked goal some nice passes out wide on the left hand side not quite sure where Zabaleta was I think he got his position in a little bit wrong as the cross came in is a driven low cross uh, and Cavani really a fantastic finish for anybody watching that, that's how to put the ball away he just let the ball hit his foot guided it into the bottom corner Joe Hart at full stretch no real chance with that one yes at fault for the first goal but certainly not the second but again City especially in European football this season have got defensive frailties and it's because they've sat back and allowed Napoli to come on to them again yeah sluggish start to the second half Silva though as Manchester City tried to step it up now Balotelli left side of the box uh, challenge comes in it's a good one as well a good one from Campagnaro and he's going to bring it forward now he's got Cavani who's on a hat-trick in this game alone and Cavani manages to have time there to sweep his hair out of his eyes before he sends the pass 
over to the left hand side to De Sena who was involved in the goal De Sena's cut back to Cavani that the Uruguayan dispatched into the back of the net so 2-1 to Napoli on BBC 5 Live here in Italy well I know they've been struggling in the league somewhat you know their, their record in the league so far you know at the last 10 games they've only won 4 lost 3 of them it's not been fantastic but they seem to raise their game yeah they come again and it's a turn and a shot from Hamtic that hits Lescott and then it's headed forwards again by Hamtic but over the top of the Manchester City bar and very nearly put open again Manchester City again you, you can listen to the noise you know these fans are right behind their team giving it everything Napoli certainly seem to raise their game you know and those players Hamzik, Cavani uh, Levetti as well have been fantastic you know not an easy day either um, especially for Hamzik has obviously had personal issues to, to worry about but it's put them behind him and the front three I think have been magnificent for Napoli yeah the, the story was that his wife was carjacked earlier today Marek Hamzik so 2-1 to Napoli in the Champions League on 5 Live. Still 1-1 at Old Trafford between Manchester United and Benfica. City having to defend. And uh, Lavezzi gives it square. And in there with a shot that is wide by 4 or 5 yards actually of Shaw Hart's goal. So a goal kick. Uh, in this group, Villarreal have got a goal back against Bayern Munich. But the Germans still lead by 2 goals to 1. We flew over the Allianz Arena last night, didn't we, on our mini tour of Europe because of the fog. And the, as ever, wonderful it looked, the arena glowing in red, as I presume Villarreal trained there. And uh, also a goal to report in the FA Cup, we'll tell you about it in a moment. The Napoli coming forward, but the pass from Lovetti runs through for a goal kick to Manchester City. And it has come in the Stourbridge Plymouth game, Hamish Marshall. And while the football continues on 5 Live, the tennis is over on 5 Live Sports Extra. Nadal against Federer. And here's Jonathan Overend with the latest. As I say, the commentary continues on 5 Live Sports Extra. Real Madrid are continuing their steamrolling of Dinamo Zagreb. They're 5-0 up. And now Balotelli has uh, conceded a, a free kick. And I think it was his reaction that has resulted... And referee Scomina running across and showing him the yellow card, the first booking of the game. Yeah, it was definitely dissent. Again, you know, every time Balotelli gets the ball, two or three Napoli players around him snapping at his ankles, you know, really trying to annoy him, you know, upset him. And that's what happened. The referee, I don't know, gave a, a free kick, which maybe was a little bit harsh. He reacted badly and much to the crowd's pleasure uh, gave him a yellow card. Yes, they, they enjoyed that, the home supporters. Everything's going their way at the moment. 2-1, Napoli lead, and if it stays like this, if uh, if Manchester City were to lose this game, then Napoli would go ahead of them in this group table, Bayern Munich currently the, the leaders of the section with 10 points and winning at home against Villarreal, but it means that going into the final game at home against Bayern Munich, who by that time may already be qualified, but, but City would be in third place in the section. It, right. it is worrying for them. It was always going to be a tough game, having your last game against Bayern Munich. And well, the last thing that City need, um, you know, with Villarreal coming back into it, the last thing they need is for Villarreal to get a draw. And then obviously Bayern Munich have to win um, in, the, in the ground. Oh, nice ball from Milner, taken down by Silva on the right hand side. Silva now to the right, and the cross comes in from Zabaleta. I don't know if it took a deflection, the challenge came in on him, but uh, either it was deflected or just hit straight at goalkeeper De Sanctis who was able to take it down uh, Bournemouth have equalised at Gillingham in the FA Cup League 1 Bournemouth against League 2 Gillingham and the ball is played forward from the back by Cannavaro the uh, the Napoli captain and then a foul on De Sena by uh, Silva who protests his innocence but the free kick has already been given Napoli's way so are we thinking about a Manchester City change then with uh, 10 minutes played in the second half a Manchester City change substitutes Johnson Savage Aguero Barry Nasri and Clichy well it seems to be Nasri uh, and Aguero uh, that are doing the most vigorous warm-ups you know a, a double substitution would, would certainly be brave um, at this stage but I think City are so much better when they go out and attack teams again they came out second half with you know an air of negativity about themselves you know, and within the first 10 minutes of the second half, they'd allowed Napoli to have three or four decent efforts on goal. And you cannot simply do that, you know, even against what is supposedly a, a poor 
Italian Serie A side in the Champions League they've certainly been fantastic it's going to be Napoli who are going to make the first change and it's Jamaili the, uh, the Swiss international who uh, is going to come on they've had to get that sorted out fairly quickly because I think it's his fellow Swiss international Gurken Inler who's got a problem at least he's off the field at the moment so Napoli currently playing with 10 men 2-1 Napoli lead against Manchester City and in the FA Cup the League 2 leader South End are in front against League 1 Preston 1-0 to South End at Roots Hall City coming forward ball headed away to Silva 25 yards out tries for a, a drop volley chested it down and hit it but it sailed over the top of the bar and wide don't think Napoli have made the, no they haven't made the change just yet and in actual fact um, Jamaili was uh, was ordered to put his Champions League bib back on to adhere presumably to the UEFA rules and regulations and now the change is being made so uh, that is a, that's a straight swap so we've got just over half an hour to play uh, and Manchester City here are, are facing the possibility of their their Champions League future really being in the balance going into the final game in the group and uh, you know with, with Manchester City at the moment qualification for the latter stages has just taken on a little extra important after the announcement of those financial losses last week because the talk was that you know there would be the Champions League revenue and obviously that would come to an end were they to go out of the competition here's um, Lavezzi on the left hand side Lavezzi with a, a run through between Yaya Toure and Milner but company stepped forward and made the challenge uh, and, and obviously when I'm talking about this the finances you know uh, are not um, you know of, pri uh, of a primary concern in terms of the funds that they have but it's all about the the fair play regulations the financial fair play regulations of course it is and, you know with. if City drop into the uh, Europa League it would almost be disastrous you know they've been fantastic in the Premier League this season but in European football so far you know he I, has I think across from really Zabaleta struggled. but it's over the top of Dzeko Danny sorry so I think they've really struggled in European football so far this season you know they, they really haven't found their feet you know they were fortunate uh, against Villarreal uh, you know certainly in one of their games got pulled apart uh, by Bayern Munich and really tonight haven't looked anywhere near their, their Premier League best no nope. this unbeaten run this winning run could be coming to an end but City with it flicked by Yaya Toure actually reaches uh, Milner on the right hand side but his cross is deflected and cleared away out for a throw phone lines are now open by the way 0500 909 693 or you can text on 85058 uh, we'll take calls and we'll have plenty of interviews as well I would suspect from all of the games that have been taking place tonight uh, and Grimsby are winning 1-0 against Port Vale so that's uh, non-league Grimsby as they are now against Port Vale Grimsby 1-0 up Napoli 2 Manchester City 1 and Manchester United 2 Benfica 2 but a free kick to City which is taken short to Milner and Milner now clips it in left but it's over the top of Dzeko and it evades Balotelli at the far post as well and is through for a goal kick much better for Manchester City the quick free kick just caught everyone slightly unawares and they're complaining about this Danny company they, and Silva as well they think that Dzeko was pushed over there inside the penalty area and the referee's got his yellow card out here and he's showing it to Silva and that's for descent too oh, I'm not sure is that for descent or for the dive I'm, I'm not quite sure which it's for but it was better much better from City they got the ball down played quickly and, and tried to catch Napoli on a ways. Uh, I think it was for descent I think it was for what Silva had to say I think City felt they had a case for a penalty there not given Napoli leading 2-1 Dzeko here with a burst through the inside left position but the challenge came in from Cannavaro to take it away from him Dzeko look as though he had a little bit of a cause behind him there having not been awarded the penalty Lesko just signs that Napoli are beginning to sit back here Manchester City now with more of the possession ball forward from Lesko though has easily cleared away downfield Wrexham have taken the lead against Cambridge in the FA Cup Cambridge United and it is still Birmingham 1, Burnley 1 in the night's only other game in the championship. Let me just remind you that tomorrow night we'll be in Germany on 5 Live to bring you commentary, uh, commentary on Chelsea's game against Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, and Mark Pugac will be presenting the programme from Arsenal where they play Borussia Dortmund. Here now Zabaleta plays the ball across and it's slid 
by Balotelli wide he was in an offside position it's Kolarov's ball across from the left hand side but Balotelli had just straight into an offside position so if he put it in the net it wouldn't have counted but again City when they attack they look very very dangerous Silva Balotelli you know. Dzeko hasn't really been in the game tonight I think if there's going to be a change I think maybe he'll come off you know he hasn't looked his sharp and unusual self but you know City have got to do this they've got to take a little bit of a gamble because if they lose this with Bayern Munich coming in the final game they're going to find it very very difficult to qualify Danny Mills with us here in Italy on five live in the, the huge Stadio San Paolo in front of 60,000 people one of whom has just lit a red flare in the end to our right and people are hanging on to the top of the, the upper tier there health and safety would have an absolute field day back home but for some reason here in Italy and various other places around Europe it's absolutely fine here now they come with Maggio down the right hand side and his ball across Hart struggling pushed it away and then is able to get up and gather it at the second attempt and Lavezzi was sliding in at the near post and that could have gone anywhere off Joe Hart who was at fault for the first goal that Napoli scored here but now City on the counter-attack Dzeko though has his progress interrupted by Cannavaro who slides across to put it out of play oh, well done Joe Hart there he was at full stretch had to try and get something on that cross really had a bit of a gamble came diving out sort of directly out of his goal got a good hand on it and really earned a little bit of luck uh, from that and really was able to grab it again very very quickly Silva now Zabaleta with a cross from the right but it's interrupted by uh, Aronica he got there first to head it down and out of play on the right hand side so 2-1 to Napoli here against Manchester City Manchester United's next match is a five live commentary game that's the three o'clock game against Newcastle this coming Saturday Manchester City's next game is a five live commentary match the game at Anfield on Sunday the four o'clock match Cavani now plays it forward but uh, Lavezzi in an offside position and that'll be a test for Manchester City as well with Liverpool obviously they wouldn't wish it this way but they don't have any commitments this week and Manchester City have had the journey here to to Naples and it's it's been a tough game that they've been in here tonight Danny they know all about it but again I, I have to question Roberto Mancini's not not just his tactics uh, but also his lineup you know leaving the likes of Mika Richards out who's been absolutely magnificent this season has done incredibly well he gave him all the plaudits at the weekend said how great he was and now has completely left him out of the you know out of the team and it disrupts teams you know you've got to be defensively sound and, and playing the same back four week in week out is absolutely vital oh ball over the top now the company was struggling with for a moment Lovetsy running behind him but he stretched and he made it company and cleared it and it's out for a throw to City 10 yards inside their own half De Jong will so come he, short. He's, not, he's not been very effective either I don't think tonight John uh, Nigel De Jong he hasn't really been involved in the game we've hardly mentioned his name at all hasn't been able to get into those positions to, to break things up and those sort of tackles just you know the break uh, on the counter attack and the breaks that Napoli have come they come at such pace Yaya Toure to Milner now it's to the left hand side for Manchester City smoke from another flare drifts across from the left hand side Silva now um, might have might have just caught uh, his man in centre midfield Jamile but no free kick and City have to defend anyway as the ball's cleared away downfield by Napoli almost halfway through the second half Milner's off on a run down the left challenge comes in but the ball bounces for Manchester City Dzeko just next to where Walter Mazzari the Napoli coach is standing with his hands on his hips see David Platt just emerging from the Manchester City dugout Real Madrid now 6-0 up on Dinamo Zagreb now City switch it to the right hand side Silva in a deep line position back into the centre circle to De Jong flicks it to his left whistles from the home supporters long period of possession from City Lesko just kept in by Dzeko but gives it away with his pass and we are halfway through the second half now on five live here in Naples Manchester City with real work to do here in the Champions League they're 2-1 down and he has Ian Dennis to full time thank you John I have the uh, the balcony window open this lunchtime I heard this kerfuffle outside amidst the uh, the blaring horns which are incessant whenever you visit this city Naples looked outside the window and there was the squad of Manchester City followed by a throng of people walking down the causeway to the 
Castel del Ovo, the Egg Castle, which legend has it that a, a sorcerer in medieval times laid a foundation of a magical egg in the foundations of the castle. Well, City need to come up with something magical here in the last next 22 minutes or so because their destiny is not in their own hands as far as the Champions League is concerned. Is Kolarov coming forward? Kolarov, of course, rescued them against Napoli at Eastland earlier on in the season. But Manchester City trailing by two goals to one and on the back foot now as the ball is played towards Levetti. Levetti into the penalty area. Levetti denied by Joe Hart. Saved by the legs of the Manchester City goalkeeper behind for a corner kick as company had slipped. And company, no wonder, goes to high five his goalkeeper Joe Hart because he kept City in this game yet again City caught on the counter attack far too often it's happened fantastic save from Joe Hart as you said uh, company slipped over got his feet completely wrong Joe Hart made amends for that earlier error in swinging corner claimed by Joe Hart Scunthorpe nil Wimbledon won Wimbledon may well be away to Bradford City in round two Bayern Munich have restored their two goal advantage in the Alliance Arena against Villarreal, so they will be confirmed as Group A winners. Bayern Munich leading the Spanish side, who are pointless in Group A. Manchester City need an equaliser in the next 20 minutes. Here is Yaya Torre to Dzeko, with his uh, back to goal, to Balotelli, inside towards Silva, better from City. Silva couldn't thread it through towards Dzeko in the inside left channel of the penalty area. Napoli just squeezed down the options as Manchester City are going to make a change and Samir Nasri is going to be coming on, Danny Mills. Well, again, positive change, uh, the young coming off. I think Nasri, you know, City have to attack, they have to start going forward. They do look so much better. I think Milner will drop into more of a, a holding role. Torre will push forward as well. You know, and really City now, they, they've got to somehow get back into this game. They haven't really tested the keeper at all. I can only remember one or two chances. Strong running by Levetti. Not a bad cross either. It was very well cut out, stretching by company, because Hamsik had just peeled away, and that was attacked full of menace as far as Napoli were concerned, who lead by two goals to one as we go back to our tennis correspondent, Jonathan Oberen. Commentary continues on five live sports extra. Kolarov to Nasri. Kolarov to Nasri again, midway through the Napoli half. The former Arsenal player who will be used to playing in passionate stadiums, of course, from his time at Marseille. Feeds the ball towards Kolarov. First time cross in from the left-hand side is too deep. And it's a goal kick to Napoli. Starbridge at home to Stevenage in round two. Stevenage, of course, who last year knocked out Newcastle in the FA Cup third round. Other latest scores in the FA Cup. Aldershot still lead made ahead 2-0. Gillingham 1, Bournemouth 1. Grimsby lead Port Vale by a goal to nil. Oxford City 1, Redbridge 0. Scunthorpe 0, Wimbledon 1. Southend 1, Preston 0. Wrexham lead Cambridge United by a goal to nil. No goals between Tamworth and Hinckley. Five Live Sport live in Naples, where Napoli leads City by two goals to one. And it's the blue shirts coming forward of Napoli, the Italian side once more, playing from left to right. Two goals from Cavani. As the fellow Uruguayan Gagano is almost caught in possession. In fact, in fact he has lost it. Yaya Torre up towards Zeko, out of play. It goes for a City throw. We're going to be in for a very exciting 17 and 18, 18 or so minutes, uh, Danny Mills. Yeah, I think City have just got to be careful. They don't get caught again on the counter-attack as they start to push forward, start to get a little bit sort of nervous, if you like. They need to somehow get back into this. But so far, Cavani, he, he's been the man of the night. He's got exceptional skill, fantastic pace. City have to remain fully concentrated. If he gets the 3-1, they're certainly out of it. Well, they know all about him, of course. He scored at the Etihad Stadium early on this season. He had a fine season last year, 26 goals in Serie A last season. The City come forward with Yaya Torre, midway through the Napoli half. Bit of space for Zabaleta, far side the right. Zabaleta pops over the cross, headed away by Maggio. The right wing back was tucked in, header out from the edge of the penalty area as uh, Aguero continues to, uh, to warm up as well. What a story it would be for Sergio Aguero if he could salvage a point for Manchester City at the ground where, of course, his father-in-law is still revered for his success in the late 80s. Diego Maradona 
will be going to Old Trafford as we just watch this latest attack from Manchester City with Collar off but it loses momentum so to Old Trafford Manchester United Benfica Conor McNamara here is Nasri Nasri left hand side for the red and black striped shirts of Manchester City behind him is Kolarov triangular passing patterns for Manchester City on the left hand side but Napoli still working hard City have been forced back towards the halfway line the deafening whistles inside the Stadio San Paolo for the possession that Manchester City are keeping but they're playing in front of Napoli there's been very little penetration there's been very little whip from City this evening the City now come forward and this is Nasri Nasri chips the ball in towards the penalty area. Campagnara with the header away. It's all over at the tennis. Jonathan Overend. Basel now lead Galat by three goals to one in Romania. Gillingham have taken the lead at Priestfield in the FA Cup. Gillingham two, Bournemouth one. Manchester City behind here in Naples. Still level at Old Trafford. City in search of an equaliser. Campagnaro hooks the ball away. From the penalty area away to our left. Under the very thin veil of haze from yet another flare that has been let off somewhere inside this stadium the Napoli supporters are anxious as Zabaleta lays it out towards Milner midway through the Napoli half Milner has a bit of space on that far side finds Silva back out towards Milner Milner right corner of the penalty area works over the cross takes a deflection Campagnaro tucked in heads the ball away back out towards Silva on the right hand side just in from the touchline wriggles away from his marker Silva's still going looks to come inside good play by David Silva right corner of the penalty area Chet falls to the floor with ease and Napoli with Lovetsi who could Fleet of feet there from uh, Levetsi. Out towards Cavani with his two goals. Cavani looks for a diagonal ball. He was caught late, but what a pass out towards Hamsik. Hamsik away from Kolarov. Hamsik into the penalty area. Strikes the post. Strikes the base of the right hand post. And the gentleman, two seats away from me, beats his fist in anger. That was a moment that keeps City not only in the game, but potentially in the Champions League. Certainly for now, it keeps a minute. Yeah, again. Fantastic pass from Cavani, who's down on the far side. Torre's getting involved with something in the middle of the pitch. It's all going off here at the moment. Getting very, very exciting. The crowd aren't happy. Again, City incredibly lucky to be kept in this game. Really, Joe Hart beaten. And I think it came back off the post. I think they thought it had gone in. He didn't react, wasn't expecting it to come back off the post. And really, the disappointment, I think, from the Napoli fans and players was clear for everybody um, I think company's been booked yes. um, in the middle of that and, and rightly so it was a very very late tackle uh, on Cavani who's for me been certainly the best player but City very very lucky to still be in this and well getting more and more frustrated as the night goes on so company shown a yellow card the third City player to be booked on what is a night where they have struggled here in Naples Lescott knocks it down towards Kolarov Kolarov to Milner and time is running out if it stays like this, their destiny will not be in their own hands as far as the Champions League is concerned. It's as simple as that. Nasri to Balotelli, towards Milner now. Milner slips as he plays the ball forward. And Napoli will clear. Cavani stretching, just couldn't get there. Cut out by company. And this is Yaya Torre in the centre circle. Nasri back towards the Ivorian on the halfway line. Milner wants the ball, but Yaya York, Taru will play the ball forward towards Balotelli. Yeah, yeah. Balotelli's made the run. Terrific save by DeSantis. Balotelli made a terrific run. A run that we've very rarely seen from City this evening through the heart of the penalty area of Napoli. Took it first time right-footed. DeSantis stood tall and beat the ball down into the ground. It was a chance. It was a very good save. No, oh, it was a brilliant ball from Yaya Torre. It was a a sort of a, a defty little almost a, a little seven iron punch just over the top of the uh, defence great touch Machio round the back Machio brought down by Hart the referee says he got the ball Machio lies face down on the penalty area chances at both ends how was Machio allowed to get round the back of the City defence again I've said all this season I think City have defensive frailties just going back to that it was a fantastic save um, at the other end uh, from, from, from Sanctis magnificent certainly kept him in at Balotelli was very unlucky but at the other end it, the City defence were nowhere you know it was through, again Joe Hart fair play to him came out made himself big and again it was, it was a collision I think the referee called that one right but again City causing themselves problems Balotelli 
brought down just outside the area was he the referee says no well we are a long way away but I've got to say that I thought Balotelli was brought down just outside the penalty area on that right corner for Manchester City to the relief of everybody inside this fantastic arena who are of a Napoli persuasion they'll be very relieved as Aguero is preparing to come on for Manchester City yesterday in the press conference not surprisingly he dominated a lot of the questions from the Neapolitan press he says he would dream to do what Maradona achieved here in Napoli he made of course the impact at the Etihad Stadium against Villarreal with a 93rd minute winner he needs to have a late impact here in Naples to keep alive their Champions League aspirations because City are trailing by two goals to one. Silva looking for a through ball towards Dzeko. It's blocked. The blue shirts of Napoli, but Silva wins it back. Silva to Balotelli. Outside the area, Balotelli shot his chance down. Aronica, who was at fault for City's goal, which uh, Balotelli scored, redeems himself. Just running across to block the shot inside his penalty area as Aguero is coming on and it may well soon be another substitution because Johnson I think is warming up but for the time being it's Aguero to replace Dzeko for Manchester City yeah Dzeko not really being it uh, I think he's been a little bit disappointing uh, this evening hasn't looked sharp and again it's a great opportunity now for, for Aguero to come on in Manchester United's group Galat 2, Basel 3 in Romania Wrexham in the FA Cup lead Cambridge by two goals to nil 2-2, remember it, Old Trafford, here in Naples. Napoli 2, Manchester City 1. We have nine minutes remaining. Nine minutes for Manchester City to try and wrestle back some of the initiative as far as qualification from Group A is concerned. Yaya Torre, here are the whistles once again from the Napoli supporters. Yaya Torre edges his way towards the penalty area. Back with the Ivorian once more. Shuffles the ball out towards... And it's played in towards Aguero. Aguero with a cutback. Balotelli's head is over the top. Goal kick. But the incision from Manchester City was there. The incision that has been lacking for the majority of this game. Again, such attacking prowess when they go forward. You know, absolutely magnificent. You know, and again, Balotelli could have had a hat trick. The last one was a magnificent save. That was, uh, it was a difficult header, maybe just behind him. But I think Manchester City will be absolutely delighted that Cavani's going off. I think, you know, on the counter-attack, the most dangerous man on the field by some distance. Maybe a little bit of a negative substitution, um, I think, from Napoli. And this could certainly work against them. So Cavani is replaced by the Macedonian international, Goran Pandev. But his two goals from Cavani, the Uruguayan, could be so crucial for giving Napoli the edge over Manchester City as far as the knockout stages is concerned at Priestfield Gillingham now lead Bournemouth by three goals to one the City look to put pressure on that Napoli back line they go back towards DeSantis his clearance downfield comes a little bit askew off the foot of Lescott it's kept in play by Kolarov hoists it downfield and it's offside against Balotelli and Campagnaro will take that free kick quickly across to Aronica forward then towards Pandet and now they'll spread the ball over towards that far side De Sainer has made the run from left midfield goal kick which Manchester City need to take quickly which they have done and this is Milner to Yaya Toure they just back off him a little bit he's got a good six yards in front of him as Yaya Toure over the halfway line now Balotelli Yaya Torre to Nasri. Nasri's past the left got sold him a little bit short as uh, Levetti tried to put him under some pressure. Levetti now leads the line. Pandev goes and tries to cut out the avenue as far as Zabaleta is concerned on that far side the right. City trailing 2-1. Red and black striped shirts playing from right to left. Five live. Live here in Naples with Yaya Torre through towards Silva. Side onto goal. Silva still has it. This is Aguero, Aguero in towards the penalty area, the angle is tight, it's a corner kick to Manchester City, Aguero has made a real difference. Yeah, it looks very, very sharp, obviously wants to make a point, but again, you know, all the Napoli defenders throwing their body, putting, throwing their bodies in the way, heading things, corner, great Italian defending. Corner taken, Balotelli, beaten away by the goalkeeper, he hooked it on the volley, down into the ground, De Santos pushed the ball away and gathered at the second attempt. I'll tell you what, Balotelli's very, very unlucky. He's a 
It was always a mishit corner. It bounced right up almost around his chest high, almost bouncing behind him. Managed to get a fantastic strike at goal. Unfortunately uh, for Sanctis, just bounced up into his arms. I think, you know, we're going to see in this last five or six minutes, whatever it, whatever's left now, you know, can, can the Napoli players defend like we know Italians can? Well, inside the Stadio San Paolo, which will be close to its 60,000 capacity, as Johnson comes on for Zabaleta, they will be the 12th man, they will look to carry them home. To also put be them interested. in the driving seat behind. Sorry, Ian, it'd be interesting now if the referee has to make a really big decision. You know, this late stage in the game, with this crowd, I don't know, it's going to take a, a very, very strong referee to make a, a big call if it happens. Milner to Aguero, Aguero into the penalty area, Aguero fought it a very good save from DeSantis, down in his near post. He was smartly away to his left to turn the ball behind for a corner. And again, City so much better now, looking sharper, a little bit desperate, but going forward, such a powerful force. They've taken it quickly. Milner, Milner's cross is blocked. And now Lebetti, oh, that was a cynical, cynical foul by Kolarov. Kolarov would have been left for dead by Lebetti and he's shown a yellow card. He was fortunate that he was in a safe place 10 yards inside his own half because he was the last line of defence as we go to Old Trafford and Conor McNamara Real Madrid now lead Dynamo Zagreb by six goals to one they'd already qualified at Jose Mourinho's side tonight before tonight but they'll be confirmed now as group winners and listen to the noise inside the Stadio San Paolo definitely absolutely definitely you can hardly hear yourself think as Joe Hart from that free kick will bowl the ball out towards that far side. Milner now playing at right back for Manchester City to Silva. Back towards Milner once again. Forward towards Adam Johnson. Johnson evades the sliding challenge from Oronica. On that right-hand side, looks up. Kill, kills the ball in field. It was an errant ball. They've won it back at Manchester City. Johnson stabs it inside towards Nasri. Forward of the centre circle. Collar off his forward. Looking then towards Sergio Aguero, back out towards Kolarov, first time cross from the left, it's deep. Johnson will look to keep the ball in play, over on that far side the right. City trailing by two goals to one, two and a half minutes remain, in towards the penalty area. Silva was in there for a bouncing ball that hasn't been dealt with by the Napoli defence. Aguero with a back heel, Nasri with a back flick, Kolarov with a low ball in from the left hand side, Kolarov again, drilled in. Great pressure from Manchester City and Napoli now clear. And we can finally get our breath back, Danny Mills. I tell you what, this is turning into a fantastic game as Napoli make the substitute just to get a little bit of respite. But it's all City, attack, attack, attack. If City get back into this game, they have to thank Kolarov. It was the most cynical challenge, 10 yards inside their half. But if uh, I forget who it was, if the Napoli player had got away, Lovetti. Lovetti had got away from him he would have scored no, without a doubt he had, yes he had a half a pitch to run it was the most cynical foul you'll ever see but if City get back into that Koroff has certainly taken one for the team and deserves a lot of credit for that Federico Fernandez, the Argentinian international now is going to slot into the centre of their defence he's replaced to say another former Liverpool player so it's a defender essentially for a midfielder they're just going to try and block things up at the back now in Napoli as Yaya Torre comes forward for Manchester City Space of plenty on that right-hand side for Adam Johnson, hugging the right touch line. Johnson comes in field now, quickly close down. The ball goes up in the air. Fernandez will head the ball away, only as far as Silva. Silva can't go between two blue shirts, though. They try and release Levetsi, but it's blocked by Company. Company comes forward from the back, midway through the Napoli half. Time running out for Manchester City, still trailing by two goals to one. Five live here in Naples. Collar off on the left-hand side, has support from Nasri. Nasri midway through the Napoli half to Yaya. Torre, Torre accelerates Levetti will go with him it's hard to believe but the volume has just been increased this is Yaya Torre his cross headed away the whistles will tell you when City are back in possession Milner's got a throw on the right hand side by my watch we're now inside the last 30 seconds of normal time Brian Kidd has actually just checked with the fourth official 
He's just told Roberto Mancini how much added on time there will be. We will find out very, very soon as Cambridge United have got a goal back at Wrexham. Wrexham 2, Cambridge 1 here in the Champions League. Remember in Old Trafford it's still 2-2 but Napoli lead by two goals to one. Break on now for Napoli. Lovetsi can't get on hold of the ball as it was played to him by Gagano. His header was just, he was a little bit too short. It has finished at Old Trafford, 2-2. Result, Manchester United 2, Benfica 2. Manchester City with three minutes of added on time. In possession, right-hand side, Milner waits. Johnson to head of him, right-hand side, can't keep the ball in play. I tell you what, Napoli. listen to this crowd. I tell you, when you're playing, you know, and you're up against it, that crowd, it gives you such a boost. It gives you an extra 25% energy. You know, you start making runs, making tackles. You know, this crowd believe, and they, they've been absolutely fantastic. City have been much, much better in the last 10, 15 minutes. They've really had a go. A couple of really good chances. But just listen to this crowd. The support they are giving to their players is absolutely phenomenal. Here is Silva. The referee has to sidestep the ball, but it's been intercepted by Machio. Machio is kick and rush. As far as Masho is concerned, Lescott was the covering defender back towards Hart. Masho had continued his run and Hart hurriedly clattered the ball away downfield. Headed away by Fernandez for Napoli. Company hurriedly looking to put pressure on Pandev. Commits a free kick. And that is almost celebrated in a goal itself. Because Napoli now have a free kick just over the halfway line. They can take some pressure off their defence. And with 90 seconds of added on time remaining, Napoli lead by two goals to one. As it's now Gillingham three, Bournemouth two in the FA Cup. Danny Mills. Well, I tell you what, Napoli have defended fantastic. They've been supported here by a magnificent crowd. The noise here has been one of the best atmospheres I've been in for, for many a year. Uh, an enthralling, entertaining game. I think City have come back into it in the last 15 or so minutes when they really pushed forward and had a go, but they've left maybe left it too little, too late. Balotelli. Balotelli keeps his feet in towards the penalty area, lacks support, outnumbered really in defence, and Napoli will clear. Danny Mills, a Champions League semi-finalist with Leeds United 11 years ago, experiencing what has been a remarkable and memorable atmosphere, but the scoreline is far from it for Manchester City. Trailing by two goals to one, last throw of the dice, Johnson right-hand side, goes past three challenges. Balotelli outside the penalty area, works it back out towards the right. Johnson looks up, Johnson's cross is too deep and goes out of play for a goal kick and the noise will tell you that it's safe as far as Napoli concerned Birmingham 2, Burnley 1 Birmingham may well be going third into the championship this evening and now they know it's close now they know inside this stadium that the Slovenian referee Domina Skamina will be very very close to blowing his whistle and Napoli will have the advantage over Manchester City and there is the final whistle Manchester City have been beaten and their destiny is no longer in their own hands as far as Group A is concerned this is a real setback it's a crushing blow Napoli 2, Manchester City 1 well I fear Manchester City have possibly blown their chances of getting into the qualification I think tactically from the start, I think Mancini got it slightly wrong. City sat back, they proved this season, they're not good at that. The atmosphere here was absolutely magnificent. This has to be one of the best games I've been at for some time. You know, it had everything, there's plenty of chances. City really had a go in the last 10, 15 minutes, but it really was too little, too late. The fans really did get behind their team, uh, and it's a magnificent atmosphere. For me, I think Napoli probably shaded it on the night. Cavani, I thought, was absolutely outstanding. His pace all night long caused a problem to City. Balotelli had one or two chances late on, but City never really, for me, created enough chances. There are at least four flares lit up around the ground, but almost to a man and woman and child inside this stadium, they have a blue and white scarf, a lock or a blue and white flag that is flying, small or large, it is a remarkable scene. I don't know about Mount Vesuvius erupting, but inside the stadium it certainly erupted when that final whistle was blown. Manchester City now 
need to beat Bayern Munich and now requiring a favour as well from Villarreal in Spain against Napoli on December the 7th. It's finished here in Naples, Napoli 2, Manchester City 1. Finished 2-2 here as well, so we need to talk about both Manchester clubs and what they need to do. Danny, just stay there for a second. Bayern Munich 13 points, 3-1 up on Villarreal, not quite over yet. Napoli now 8 points, Manchester City 7, Villarreal no points. City at home to Bayern Munich, Villarreal against Napoli. It's out of their hands, Danny. At the moment, you have to say, it looks like Europa League football for Manchester City in the new year. And, and that's almost disastrous. I remember saying at the very, very beginning when City got this, it's a tough group. You know, Napoli are an emerging force. They've not done fantastic in Serie A, but they've been every single Champions League game, they have raised their game. And tonight, you can see why at home, with this crowd behind them, they are going to be a force in Europe. They've got some very, very special players. Their front three players, are Hamzik, Cavani and Lovetsy, I think are absolutely magnificent. And I think on the balance of play, probably I think Napoli deserve the victory this evening. The lines are open, 0500 909 693, so much to talk about Manchester City. What sort of impact were they to go out of the Champions League would it have on their league form? Manchester United as well, Manchester United 9 points, Benfica 9, Basel 8, Basel Manchester United and Benfica Galatz to come. So Benfica are likely to win the group. A draw in Switzerland will be enough for Manchester United, but still work to do here as well. So give us a call, 0500 909 693.